Yo, what's going on? It's the L7C bringing you some Yu-Gi-Oh! Live Duels. We're going to have reactions. I mean, this was a replay that I played a couple of days ago. We haven't uploaded any Yu-Gi-Oh! in a bit, so I wanted to upload some Yu-Gi-Oh! because this one is very, very interesting. Um, if you see the opponent's hand in my hand, it is a Dark Magician Mirror matchup. Obviously didn't know until he played his first card. So let's get right into it. So they go first. Um, first thing illusion add rod so i'm like all right and then he plays red eyes fusion dragoon uh set to eternal soul end so when he did that i was kind of confused because i guess he was adding the card which is fine adding rod but since you played red eyes fusion you can't normal summon can't do anything for the rest of the turn really besides set and he set the eternal soul so I know a lot of people do love Red Eyes Fusion for Dragoon because, you know, you just send the two. So now he has two pops. I've never really been a fan of it because, again, if this gets ashed, you can't do anything the rest of the turn. It's truly GG. So that's not how I've operated. But he also what he was also saving his negate because he has the one negate because he has Secret of Dark Magic. And so he could have set that made um the Dark Magicians and then got an extra draw. But that's just me so i go i draw eternal soul i set eternal soul play soul servant the reason i'm playing soul servant now is because soul servant counts for either players graveyards with dark condition dark condition girl of mahad monsters so i'm gonna get to draw so i put a card i get apprentice illusion you'll see why i get that discard do her effect he didn't negate the soul servant because even if he negated that i would have drawn a card he doesn't get negate apprentice illusion magician even though I'm about to get Dark Magician a hand. So I get my DM to hand. And then I play Circle, Stack Soul Servant. So the Soul Servant effect of drawing is once per turn. The Soul Servant effect of stacking, you can do that as many times as you want. So that's why I played that one to draw a card. To now I'm about to stack this again with the Circle combo. I get Secrets of Dark Magic. And Rod, Super Poly, Secret of Dark Magic. So that happens on um, that. So I get my Apprentice. I mean, my Illusion of Chaos. So we almost have very similar hands. Same Fusion spell, same Dark Magician. He just has Rot. I have Illusion. He started with Illusion. Sent back. And you're wondering, it's like, how am I going to out this Dragoon? I've, I mean, I use Dragoon. So doing it in the Mirror Match with the card. As long as I have Apprentice Illusion Magician on the field, I can out Dragoon. And I'll show you why. I keep going here do illusion he negates the illusion so this this is a quick play thinking with the dark magician deck so he is negating illusion of chaos i am going to quick play my secret of dark magics so we're doing that and then we make the dark magicians you're saying why would he secret of dark magic right there with the dark magician illusion of chaos because it's not He's not dodging the negate effect of Dragoon. Yes, Illusion of Chaos is still negated, but since I used it for a fusion summon, Dragoon did not get to destroy it. So Dragoon is still at 3,000. Uh, the Dark Magicians is at 2,800. So you'll see that. So he didn't get to destroy, he doesn't get the power up. I just go and attack, Apprentice. That's why I said as long as I had Apprentice on the field, Dragoon was going to die. Because Apprentice gives a Dark Spellcaster extra 2,000 attack and defense. Not that many Dark Magician players use Apprentice anymore because of Souls and Illusion of Chaos. But against Dragoon or big monsters like this, easy pinch. So that's gone. He goes. He plays a circle. I'm like, okay, see what he's getting. Gets the Eternal Soul. Gets goes in match. That's fine. But I get to draw a card. That's why I made this. That's why I made this card, because I'll get to draw. That's why I think he should have made it as well. He plays Eternal Soul. I play Eternal Soul. Dark Conditions are all about timing. So I'm going to come out where both of our circles are going to go off. We're both banishing the Eternal Souls, which that's what you would want to do. Um, they both go off. Both are destroyed. The C. The difference is, because I thought ahead, since I made the Dark Magicians, I'm going to get Field Treasure. So I get the Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl. Dark Magician Girl is at 2,900 attack. And my Dark Magician is out here also with this. 
he activates Rod because that was his follow-up play because I knew he had Rod due to Illusion of Chaos. That's when I dropped the Mystic Elf of White Lightning. Another card that normal deck monster people like a Dark Condition Bloods people really don't see the value in, but I, I love it. Uh, it's a free level 4 body, 2,000 defense. Gives you negation, especially if you're summoning normal monsters like the Dark Magician or Blue Eyes. And as soon as Battle Phase starts, you can bring one of them back. So now he's negated. So he has no other play. He steps his Eternal Soul and makes Amethyst, which is whatever. Pure draw, Dark Magician S to the freaking max out here. Just schooling this Dark Magician player. Draw Dark Magic Attack, blow everything up. Not really concerned about him bringing in Eternal Soul. Because all the stuff is gone before Circle activates. So he does his rod thing, but then he's wide open. Soul Servant, draw two cards, just in case. Attack, attack, Dark Magician, go attack for game. So, in that being said, I I understand with the Dragoon thing, I would have set the secret of Dark Magics, because then if something got in a pinch for him or her, he could have made the Dark Magicians, had an extra body out there. But, I mean, it was... he. This person was standard. Like, there was no innovation, really. Red Eyes Fusion, first turn. The Armethyst with the Rod, which I get to put in the grave. There's no thing for um, that person. But for me, I was able to utilize my Soul Servants because of him. I was able to make the Dark Magicians and Apprentice destroy his Dragoon. Get past his Negate with a quick thinking and secret of quick magics. And that's something people really would realize, unless you're a Dark Magician type player. Uh, negate his rod with Mystic Elf of Light Lightning and attack directly with Dark Magician Girl. But that was just a nice little Dark Magician Mirror match. I uh, got some more duels coming this week, so be on the lookout. L7C, signing out. Mm -hmm.